Hey, it's a comparison. We're going to give you the lowdown on both of these machines. We have the Breville Breeze Express versus the Escaso Dream Up. Hey, it's Gail at Seattle Coffee Gear, and these are about in that same price point, so we thought, well, we'll just do a comparison and see which one is actually going to work best for your needs. Let's start with the Escaso. Uh, polished aluminum casing comes in three different colors, so check that out. This is a cast uh, casing, so it's solid. It has a thermoblock uh, aluminum with stainless steel line thermoblock on the inside. It has that valve that releases the pressure so that the water goes back down into the water tank so you don't have such a soupy puck. It's got uh, 48 ounces of water tank right here, easily accessible. It has the uh, chrome-plated uh, chrome brass portafilter, and it comes with double and single non-pressurized baskets, double and single pressurized baskets for those of you that don't want to be so challenged with the grind, and the pod basket as well. It also comes with a Panarello right here as far as your steam arm. And also in the box, you'll find that it comes with a traditional steam arm, which you just unscrew this and put the other one on. And it's about this long. Now it turns it into a traditional steam arm instead of the Panarello. What else can I say about it? Uh, gauge on the front that gives you the temperature of the boiler because this is functions like a single boiler. You're either going to be brewing or steaming, not both. So when you put the steam on, it's going to go way up into the almost 300 range versus when you're brewing. It's sitting here right now at about, I'm going to say it's about 205 or so, right in through there. Comes with a metal tamper and a scoop, directions, the whole deal, of course. Trip tray right down here, water tank I already showed you. Let's move over to the Breville Barista Express. What makes this one different right off the bat is you can see it has a grinder built into it. This grinder is suitable for using for espresso for this machine. You do not want to use this for alternative brewing methods and try to catch it down here. We try that, it just doesn't work. If you're doing drip, pour over, anything like that, you're gonna want a standalone grinder. So this may not be the machine for you. This one, you're gonna use a standalone grinder and you can get a grinder that will do everything from, if you want to, from espresso up to French press. So you have that option. If you're gonna be brewing other methods, this might be a better fit for you with a standalone. This is a uh, stainless steel clad over plastic casing. Really nice. Cup warmer up here, cup warmer right here. Volumetric programmable buttons. Stainless steel portafilter right here. And this one also comes with your double and single non-pressurized, double and single pressurized. Does not come with a pod basket. It has a traditional steam arm right here. Just the traditional, no Panarello. This is a thermal coil versus thermal block. They function pretty much the same. Water spigot right here on the Escaso. If you turn this uh, brew button on and open the steam arm, you're gonna get water out of here. So they both dispense hot water. This is the uh, grinder control section over and through here. This is the finest. You can set your grind right here. And then you can decide how much is going to go down into the portafilter right here. This is volume. And then if you put it on single, that's what you're going to get, single dose of that. And if you put it on double, it'll double it for the double basket. Makes sense? This machine also, as you can see, grinds right down into your portafilter. So if you go like this, I'm not going to grind the whole way. I pushed it in and I interrupted it to make it stop. So that's how the grinder works. And then you are going to have your tamper right here built in, magnetic, tamp, and go. Trip tray right down here. And you know, Breville does think of all the little niceties. Here's your little tray that comes out with the drip tray with all the stuff that comes with it. Comes with the razor, which is for topping off and leveling off the top of your uh, puck before you, um, after you tamp it before you brew. Comes with a brush for the grinder, comes with a scoop, comes with a sample of the cleaning tablets, comes with a uh, needle device to unplug the hole in the panorel or the uh, steam arm. 
right here it has a actual floater that tells you when the drip tray is full it'll come up and it'll say empty me the escalso you can pretty much see when it needs to be emptied it's a physical you can see it goes back in there like that so the other thing the only one other thing i wanted to talk about or two other things 67 ounces of water in the back. That's a huge water tank for the machine of this size, I would say. It's a big one. And then the nice thing about this grinder is you can actually take this off. Right now you can't grind. The blinker is telling you so. You can take this off, open it up, empty the beans, put it back on, lock it, put in some new beans. So you can switch the beans out easily. So I think... And this is not temperature like the Escalso, this is pressure. If the, t the grind is correct and you're tamping all that, your needle should go up into this range up in here, and that will be producing the correct shot. We recommend that you just time your shots. You're looking for two ounces in 20 to 30 seconds with the non-pressurized on both of these. Plastic handle is a shiny plastic handle on this one. Matte finish plastic. Comparable, I would say. You know, not a big deal there. So I think that's pretty much the stats between these two. This requires a standalone grinder, or if you're using the pressurized baskets, you could actually get away with a pre-ground and do a little cheating. Same thing with this one. Grinder built in, though. You're ready to go. So it's up to you. What's going to work best for you? Check out the crew review of each one of these. It goes a little bit more in depth. We show the inside on this one. And uh, stats are also located on our website. Comments down below if you have these machines. Let us know what you think. We always love to have your feedback. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're very important to us. You mean a lot. And the fact that you're watching our videos tells us you do enjoy our page. So subscribe and join the team. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you.